Red Matter is like a really big and really involved escape room, and I'm here for it. The story is strung out of the gates with a cold war between fictional factions, which are an extreme analogue for the USSR and the US during the Cold War. Perhaps you're under the impression that the war is over. You would be mistaken. The story imagines an alternate universe where both factions got past the moon and have established bases in the solar system. What's even better is that there's a great attempt at cosmic horror. The protagonist that you're playing, codenamed Epsilon, is sent to go find some secret documents left behind in an abandoned space base. First off, Red Matter looks amazing in the headset. Visually, it's stunning. There are multiple moments where I stopped playing the game just to look around and enjoy its vistas. Controls are nice and compact. Left hand has the tools like a flashlight and item scanner. Right hand does the movement. For movement, there's smooth locomotion or glide locomotion. The glide can have its speed adjusted for comfort on the fly. However, if you have strong VR legs, you may get frustrated with how slow it can be for smooth locomotion. The puzzles are great if sometimes a little simple. As I mentioned earlier, the game feels a little bit like a big escape room, and these puzzles are the kind that I would expect to see in a high-budget escape room. They are still really enjoyable, however. If you get a little stuck on some of the puzzles, I highly suggest reading everything around you, as clues are hidden everywhere that can help you, and some of the puzzles can't even be solved without first finding at least one clue. The voice acting for this game is not great. While the writing is done really well and the story is awesome, the voice acting doesn't match up to the same quality of the story. What was that? The power seems to have been cut, Agent. Damn it. Somebody tell me what's going on. I've lost the subject. We need that information no matter the cost. The cosmic horror of the sections of the game are interesting. At first, they genuinely creeped me out, and scanning certain objects was a terrifying prospect. However, midway through the game, the horror becomes a plot device and immediately loses all its horror aspect. I started greeting my cosmic horror companion as a friend later on in the game. This, however, does lead to the story's ending, which, to put bluntly, is not great. A few of the plot holes in the story can be easily dismissed, but the ending really doesn't do this game justice. Up until this point, Red Matter had been very strong in terms of its gameplay and story, However, the finale isn't a puzzle, and the story falls flat right at the finish line. With all this in mind, I'd still say you should give this game a go. You get two really enjoyable hours out of the game, and I'd say it's very much worth it. Go play Red Matter, because Red Matter 2 drops really soon, and if the sequel is an improvement from the first game, then it's going to be fantastic.